Hi, I'm Steve Seberg and I'm 84 years old and I am the acrobatic coach and a performer with the Imperial Opa Circus here in Atlanta. Okay, uncommon people doing wondrous things. Sounds exactly like it comes from our leader, Tim Mack. Only he would say something like that and we are all trying to live up to that now, to do the wondrous or amazing things. And actually we're pretty good at it. We go somewhere and do a show and uh, then we're supposed to mingle. Like we go to a place like the Vanquish Lounge, we're all painted gold and it's an office party and we are pretty much take up all the visual space just being gold and like eight of us. And then after we've done our act, we're supposed to mingle with the, with the people at the party, which always means that we go out and sit in the furniture and begin to continue our act, draping ourselves over things and standing on each other. So finally, the people that have come to have fun at the party are cowering against the walls because we're so many of us and we're so active, <laughs> and in my case, so old. We, we do an act together, and he is double my age, and I am double her age. So that means I'm four times her age. Well, working with younger people is pretty exciting because uh, eventually you start to hear about their love lives, and, and even though you've had experience yourself, I was married to the, lived with the same woman for 50 years, so I, I had little experience of, as my wife used to call it, mating and dating, and it's, but I'm pretty, getting pretty good now at giving advice, you know, about how they should deal with the, the guy who uh, won't do anything and won't do the dishes and, you know, stuff like that. But, of course, it keeps me busy. They're physically in great shape. So when we have like tumbling practice, I have to throw myself in and just throw caution to the winds and look pretty awful. I was once a really good tumbler, but I haven't done it for a long time, but I'm working on it. I am off on a base actually, not just because I'm not that light, but partly because I'm pretty trustworthy and I've done this for so many years that I'm pretty good at being a bass, although I can also do handstands on other things, the floor and people. The trustworthy, the marriage plays a big part, <laughs> there's no doubt about it. Um, all I can think of is my wife used to say, she didn't agree with me on everything, but I was never boring. Now that has nothing to do with being trustworthy, but I guess she did. She trusted me when I thought of what might be considered crazy things to do, like our acrobatic poetry act where we would do acrobatic balances and she would read uh, out of a little book, read a poem. Here's a picture of it. I don't know if you can see it. Of us in our costumes which as a visual artist, I chose. I was really getting good at ordering dance leggings and stuff. And here we are in a Swedish backyard, and she's on my back holding her little, the poetry book. And we would do a show and do about six or seven poems, which would take like 20, 25 minutes. And each pose we'd only hold for like 15 seconds or something like that. Uh, but I guess I was not only trustworthy as a husband, I think I was, but also as an acrobat. I mean, I could truly say I was supporting my wife. No joke intended, but uh, I did hold her up and she had to believe that I wasn't going to drop her, which I seldom did. But only in practice, so uh, so it never became an issue. And I never dropped her uh, in in a performance that I can remember. Of course, as old as I am, my memory is not as good. So no, we we never had any accidents or anything like that. Uh, are there any advantages to being 84 years old? Yes, I. I really am, makes me eager to live even longer. 
And I, that sounds strange, but I'm really getting to like living in a way. I always did, but now I like it even more. And working with the circus has been so much fun. I, I, in a way, I've never had so much fun in my life with other people. I mean, as an artist, you're in your studio, as you point out, dropping paint on things, and you know, you're up in the middle of the night listening to something like Howlin' Wolf while you're painting some really obscure thing that you think is going to be exciting, but it is so much more fun to be in a gymnasium or someplace with other people building human pyramids than being alone in your studio. I can truly say that. I think there are a lot of people that under, uh, in their old, in their 80s and perhaps 90s that underestimate what they can do. And so do people that know them. So do their children and family. And this is a big problem. Now it's becoming almost fashionable to be a, an ancient athlete. I'm collecting videos of 78-year-old gymnasts. And there are more and more as the whole population ages, more of us who have learned skills in our youth and still continue them or, or realize that we can continue them. Let's put it that way, because I think there are a lot of people who think, hey, I'm too old now. I can't stand on my hands. I've got to drop the whole thing. But there's always something they can do, like walking or swimming is something you can do, I think, until the day you die. But I, I am having more fun now doing this stuff, even though I'm not as skillful as I was when I was 20 and could do back somersaults on the parallel bars. I still get a tremendous kick out of picking up, <laughs> say, young women, but working with guys, younger guys and even older guys. And I think that everybody can do that. There's now a video of an Australian dancer who's a hundred years old. <laughs> so, oh well, I should find some of these people for a new girlfriend. But you know, a hundred's too old for me. I, I, and you know, 70 would be robbing the cradle. So I have to find some 80 year olds. And I may, I may find another 80 year old acrobat, you know, like me, who knows. The way I would like to be remembered is, I would like people to share my belief that you can go on doing new things and learning stuff to the end, to the last moment. My wife and I were performing our acrobatic poetry act almost a week, a few days before she started cancer treatment. And she knew she had cancer, but we did one of our best acts ever. And I think you can treat your life like that, that there's always something you can be doing or encouraging other people, not only young people, but other people your own age.